Out of the darkness of my life, so much frustrated, I put before you the one great thing to love on earth, the Blessed Sacrament. There you will find romance, glory, honor, fidelity, and the true way of all your loves on earth, and more than that, death. On the altar of the cross, he offered up his body to God the Father as a sacrifice for our reconciliation. He shed his blood as the price whereby he redeems us from wretchedness and bondage, and the washing whereby he cleanses us from all sin. And for a noble and abiding memorial of that so great work of his goodness, he left unto his faithful ones his very body for meat and his very blood for drink, to be fed upon under the appearance of bread and wine. How precious a thing then, how marvelous, how health-giving, how furnished with all dainties is the supper of the Lord. Than his supper can anything be more precious? Therein there is put before us for meat, not as of old time the flesh of bulls and of goats, but Christ himself, our very God. Than this sacrament can anything be more marvelous? Therein it comes to pass that bread and wine are bread and wine no more. But in the stead thereof, there is the body and there is the blood of Christ. That is to say, Christ himself, perfect God and perfect man. Christ himself is there under the appearance of a little bread and wine. Christ instituted this sacrament, the embodied fulfillment of all the ancient types and figures. This sacrament, the greatest miracle which he ever wrought, and the one mighty joy of them that now have sorrow till he shall come again, and their hearts shall rejoice, and no man shall take their joy from them. I have no taste for corruptible food, nor for the pleasures of this life. I desire the bread of God, which is the flesh of Jesus Christ, who was of the seed of David. And for drink I desire his blood, which is love incorruptible. At that time, Jesus said to the multitudes of the Jews, My flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. As the living Father sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eats me, the same shall also live by me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not as your fathers ate manna and died. He that eats this bread shall live forever. When we have just received Holy Communion, if we were asked, what are you carrying away to your home? We might answer, I am carrying away heaven. 